Hi, it's Lori from Coast to Coast Craft Girls coming to you from the West Coast. Today I want to show you how I made this exploding box. This one I used embossing folders, an embossing folder around the edge and some say it with flowers paper on the top. But when you open it up, you have this beautiful rose display on the inside, sort of reminiscent of Beauty and the Beast. It's pretty easy to make actually, and I'll show you how to do it. Let's get started. To start with, we're going to start make, by making the box. So we start with a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. And I get my big scoreboard out. And it's a 4 by 4 box. And because um, I want to make the base, so I'm going to go from the on the right side, score from the right side. I don't know how much you can see of this. So I'm going to go down to four, make sure that's right up against the right edge, and score. And then turn and do the same thing on all four sides. It's usually best to score twice, just sort of softly, as opposed to pushing too hard and ripping the card. And then while I've got my scoreboard out, I'm going to go ahead and score the top. And the lid is a 6 by 6 piece of paper. I'm going to score this on the box lid side at 1 inch on every side. Okay, that's all the scoring. Now, to make the box lid, you just want to fold and crease all of the score lines. And then you're going to make this just like you normally would. So you're going to snip out the corners and you want to snip here and then put just a little wedge out of that side and I actually like to take a little wedge off the top as well because I find it helps them all fit better and you want to do that on all each of the four corners make sure you cut out of the tab the tab on the end and not out of this piece I've done that before and you'll ruin your box because you want those to be full. Otherwise, when you go like that, if you cut out of this piece, it's going to show. Okay, and there's my lid. Now I'm not going to glue it together yet because I, I want to decorate it or put the decoration on the top before I glue it together. I guess I can go ahead and do that. So on the box base, you've basically got it scored into nine different squares. And because I want one corner to be fixed, I'm going to do sort of like I did on the box top on this one. So I want to cut this down here and then this piece is going to go this way right like this so i want to cut i'm going to cut this off because it's i just need a gluing tab so we're going to cut that there and then i'm going to cut just like on on the base i'm going to take little wedges out of this out of that tab. So that it fits nicely. So I should not. So if you fold these all in
Now you'll see this is going to go there, but then I want all of the rest of these to just these two sides to just open. So I need to cut these squares just out completely because I just want these two sides to be loose. And these, so these sides have to come out. So you want to cut on just to the inside of the score line because you don't want the score line to show. I'm just going to cut that. And you can do this with a paper trimmer, but I find it's just easy to do with scissors. And you just want to cut that square out completely. So as you can see, this is going to go there, and then this is one piece, this is the other. So I got to cut these two out the same way. I'm just going to do the same thing. And there's my box. And as you can see, this will come up, and then those two are open, fold up, but they fold down. Now, before I um, glue these together, it's easiest. To do most of the deck do most of the decoration before you glue it together so i use the sarah signature say it with flowers and i cut 10 pieces of three and a quarter by three and a quarter inch squares and i'm going to glue these onto each of these to decorate my panels so I'm going to go ahead and put one on my lid before I glue my lid together, just because it's easier to glue when it's flat. Now, for this last one, you can see I missed one on the inside. The, the reason is because I want to glue that together first, so the paper on the inside hides that panel, my little gluing flap. So I'm going to use some tacky glue to glue the little gluing flap. And just line up the edges. To get it lined up just press it down and hold it in place long enough to, for that tacky glue to grab that's good and then i'll go ahead and put my other piece on the inside to cover that up that'll cover up that gluing flap completely All right, 
and now I'm gonna, I saved one more and I'm going to flip it over and use the back side because this is um, such a pretty coordinating color. I'm going to put the rose pattern down so that I have a nice clean base to put my flowers on. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and glue my box lid together so that can start, uh, that can get glued together good and set while I'm doing everything else. So give it a good burnish. And then I'm going to put a little bit of tape pin on the, each gluing flap just to kind of give it some instant grab and then I'm going to use tacky glue. You could use red liner tape if you want or whatever you got but Okay, there's my box top. Now, to go on the inside, I'm going to make that little dome. This is made out of um, uh, acetate. Super easy. So what I did is I took a piece of acetate and it's um, it's the eight and a quarter, eight and a half, whatever your A4 length is. And then I cut it to four inches high. And then I'm going to cut down about every three quarters of an inch. So what I did is I just, I just took a piece of paper and I marked every three quarters of an inch. And then I cut down to use as a template. You can just measure three quarters of an inch. And then this is down one and a half inches from the top. So one and a half down or two and a half up, whichever you want to do. And then just hold it and snip right along those three quarter inch gaps down to the one and a half inch line. So again, this piece is four inches, four inches this way by eight and a quarter or eight and a half this way. And then I cut down one and a quarter inch every three quarters of an inch to make these tabs. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, maybe if I put the red behind it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to snip off these corners just kind of like I did almost with the gluing tabs, just to try and clean them up a little bit, each of the, hopefully you can see that. Okay. 
Now, you know, I got to make a circle, so we're going to glue this together. And I used um, my dotty tape pen the first time, but I'm going to try it with a little strip of red liner tape and see if that's a little less visible. It's not too bad because you can put it in the back and you're going to put flowers in the inside of it, so it doesn't make that much of a difference. But I'm going to try and the red liner tape and see if that helps make it less visible. And then you just want to wrap it around and make a circle. And you just want to make sure that it's lined up straight at the bottom and all the way up so that it's essentially straight. That's a little less noticeable than the dotty tape pen, so I'm going to go with that. Now you're going to start at one end and you're just going to fold each of these in over the top and glue them together just like this one at a time to make that domed top. Now the way that I did it is just with glue dots. I just use some little glue dots on each one. You could use um, a red liner tape or a glue gun, but I had some of these little mini glue dots and you just pick it off and put it on the one and then bend it over. Oops in the wrong spot and just keep going around one at a time and take your time just want to bend each one in so that you're making that dome and I put a ribbon on top to kind of hide the the top part so you can put something on top and so it's not going to show too much but all the glue dots but that's why i did the ribbon on top so just kind of put your glue dot on to each tab and now you can see why i use the glue dots because it's kind of an instant grab so it makes it a lot easier Okay, now I've got my little dome finished. And as you can see, there's glue visible on the top. And like I said, that's why I put that ribbon on the top to hide that. We're gonna set that to side because we have to have something to put it on. And you can see in this one, I put it on, I did cut two circles with my nesting die. So I'm gonna do the same thing. So use one of your pieces of red that you cut, cut off from your top. I don't know if it'll fit in that one. I'll put on that one. And then I use Centura Pearl for the inside one. And these are just nest um, nesting dies. This one is about a three and a half inch square. And then this is the next one down that fits inside of it. So, so I'm going to start by putting this, gluing that onto there. I'm just going to use a little bit of tacky glue. And I kept this one flat. You could put it on phone pads if you want, but I did not. I just kept it flat. I did put the base on foam pads on the original one, but I think I'm just going to put this one on flat too. It's up to you. 
um, there's room to put it on foam pads in the height of the box, but it's up to you. And you just put that in the center. Get my hot glue plugged in and we'll assemble the rest of it. While I'm waiting for the hot glue to heat up, I'm going to go ahead and make my little ribbon. I just used some dark red ribbon that I had. And you could put anything on top. You could, it doesn't have to be a bow. You could put a, a, a flower or um, like a circle of paper or uh, even a circle of acetate or something or whatever you want. But I thought just a ribbon was a good way to cover up my all my glue dots. Okay, so that's ready to go. Um, and then on the inside, I put three foam flowers. And I just cut, I did these, um, uh, these were also with, I don't remember what all the different colors were, but I just had three, three colors of red that I thought complemented that paper really well. And I used the three. And the way that I did it is I, kind of put two on the bottom like that and then the other one kind of on top so you can do it however you want but um, that's the way that I did it to try and make them stand up without putting anything behind it and when you have your hot glue it it does work and then I just had a couple of little leaves that I poked in just to kind of fill the gaps and I mean you can make the, these are out of uh, Centura Pearl cardstock, but you could make them out of foam as well if you wanted to. So let's, we got to get the flowers in and then I'll show you how to do glue the top on. All right, so we start with one and I'm going to put it right here. So just put some glue down and I'm going to kind of try and stand it up. And I don't care if you, from the back it doesn't look good. Let's see how that kind of is stood up. And then I'm going to do the same with this one and I'm going to glue it to that one. So I'm going to put some glue on there and on there. And then we're going to put this one on the side and glue it to the other one so that it also stands up. Perfect. And then we're going to glue the top one on so it kind of is a little bit more flat to the other two so sort of like that so we're going to put a little bit of glue on there and then we're going to glue it to the other two just like that and they do just kind of support each other and stand up even without anything behind them which is very cool. And then I'm going to take my leaves and I'm just going to kind of poke them in into the gaps. You got to poke them far enough so that they're not going to be in the way of your little clear um, jar. This one I might So I want it kind of sticking out between the three a little bit. Okay, there. Now, this needs to go over the top and it's going to glue onto there. And make sure you put your tape to the back. 
Now I tried a couple of things when I did it the first time. The first time I tried some hot glue around here and then tried to set it in the hot glue and that didn't work very well. The thing that I did find that worked well is I just put little dabs of hot glue around the bottom so very carefully. Hopefully you can see this. And you have to work fairly quick because you don't want the glue to harden before you can get it on there. And you want to put just little bits because you don't want it running all over the place. And once you get it on there, carefully put it down over the flowers and tuck it and hold it on. And it'll glue itself to the card just like that. It's actually pretty simple. And then I'm going to put the ribbon on top with some hot glue. And I always put lots of hot glue on my ribbon because I don't want them to come apart. And if you put it a little bit to the front, you just want to hide the, the workings, hide all those glue dots, and it kind of helps hold stuff together. And that's it. That's all there is to it. But just like that, you've made yourself a little sort of a Beauty and the Beast style. And it folds right up. Put the lid on. And you've got your exploding box with your rose display in the middle. Hope you enjoyed that. It's actually easier to make than I thought it was going to be. Hope you enjoyed that. Have a nice day.